Hello and welcome! My name is Akira and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nostalis 4 where we are playing as Prussia. Just took another war with Denmark and uh, conquered um, almost all of Uland uh, as well as Bornholm and Gotland here. Um, Sweden was a little bastard and took Norrland right ahead of me so... Oh, the league was not even over yet. Um, Provence is... It's uh, not undecided right now. How's it looking? So it's Bohemia, Sweden, Muscovy, and Golden Horde are still part of it. Well, could we take? Oh no, we don't have any. Should have taken something over here as well. Anyway, uh, we're building on Sweden right now. I think we want to take Stockholm, maybe. Um, nah, I'm not sure. So, Livonian Order, we have no truce with you, I think. Oh yeah, we probably do. Because we were in war with you just a minute ago. It's 12 years truce, so yeah pretty much the truth there. We have no truth with Lithuania though. Do you have any allies? Uh, you're allied with the effing emperor. Sweden are allied with Bohemia. So I think Sweden is the next target. Uh, I think we just... Uh, 6, 10, I think we uh, get a claim on Stockholm and then we try to take these two claims as well as Småland and Östergården. And we could also try and release Finland as a vassal, taking some of this land and releasing it. Although, need to watch out. Oh, and I forgot, I, I might as well do it now so I don't forget again. I want to add this one so we get less aggressive expansion. Since we're not really using our admin power anyway, we might as well. And we have some diplomatic power that we need to spend, so let's just do that. I'm just gonna spend some of the, this yellow here. Good, 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 good. Uh, still three years away from technology. Sweden, you cannot get access. And they got printing press. How is it spreading the printing press? Most of Europe has it now, but we are 20 years away from global trade. And we just outgrew you as well. That's incredible. So we can now add Ottoman... How... Didn't we... So we just eclipsed them, and I just added them back. That kinda makes even less sense than any kind of anything ever. Um, that was kind of weird. I guess they removed us. I don't. I don't even know. And we're also uh, trying to get some claims on Muscovy for a war there. Embrace colonialism. That's that's good for you. Do you have any good allies? You have Poland, Persia. Well, I think we can go to mo war with Muscovy soon as well. Um, get that. So how are we doing? We can probably add some more ships now. Yeah. I think I want to add a couple more trade ships to this group. And no, I don't care about that, but I do want to upgrade you. And let's just see if we can build some some nice construction um uh, manufactories. So point seventeen. I think the winner is a plantation. Plantation in Neumark, I think. Mm. 
kind of makes sense that Austria would um, rival the country that broke free from them. My nice ally in Netherlands here. They are Catholic though. Ah, France. I like that you're in your overlord. And that, that malice is ticking away qu quickly, so as long as we can keep up some good alliances here. I think we might as well try to improve a little bit with um, England. Uh, I'm not gonna ask for the royal marriage, but if he asks, I'm probably gonna accept. Um, I feel like I don't wanna focus my power here yet. I wanna focus my power on Muscovy, Lithuania, Poland, Sweden. Um, and we also need to get into Germany because we do wanna make Germany at some point. Um, I'm pretty sure we keep our Prussian ideas when we do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna read up on that. It's not gonna gonna be uh, relevant for a while yet, but um, definitely don't want to lose my Prussian ideas. Regional nobles challenge in Prussia. So lose ten loyalty, gain ten loyalty. So Launburg, yeah, I think I can I can live with this. Can I get out anything out of that? No, I don't think that's worth it. We have so much manpower so all of a sudden. We need to go into a war again. Uh, can we? We can fabricate at 35 and at 30. So I think we wait for one more claim on Stockholm and then we attack Sweden. I think. Uh, I think we do. We move you up here so we can attack from either side. And then do we have some? Yeah, we have some uprisings here that we'll probably. We could might as well. We can't decrease autonomy because they're not states, so we will have to wait for the cause. And France just keeps having problems. He's gonna be a patchwork here. There's so much reform that's going on. He is getting a little bit of help from the Protestant uh, reforms as well. So how is our force limit looking? 84. When it gets to 90 I'm gonna add another army. Well, we couldn't add an army with just less um, we had 24 right we have yeah we have 24 so 24 would be something like uh, 18 to this is 30 right so well, that would be too little yeah so I guess we this is gonna be the standard army template. I guess we could we could go with less um, we we'll go with three twenty eight stacks instead. Then it's only twenty six. Sure. I think I'm gonna keep the mer mercs. I guess we could take two out of every army and create a third. Then we just create a template with so now it's 16. Um, so 2 and 10. Now it's 24. Save that and build that. We need some money. Then we're gonna get a third army. I guess we can we can wait a little bit with that then.
Gonna siege down Neuland first with this one and then go on to uh, Stockholm, I think. Here or over here we're gonna siege down Vipo. Then go on. And seems like we have enough to fabricate claim on. Do I wanna so Neuland is 20. I guess I take Neuland and no, I kinda wanna take Stockholm. It's gonna be expensive though, and also in but I, I think I do it. I think I do claim Stockholm. And then we uh, almost um, call you back temporarily. And then we go to war. So only Nuremberg is gonna answer, so that's gonna be nice. Uh, I think I declare for uh, probably Blaking. You go there. You go there. Yeah, you go there. It's gonna take two of you. And sail you over there. that and I think then we go and cover that that we can repair the rest of the fleet uh, while we are helping with that siege. Uh, did they remove the fort here? Well, I guess they only had a... I guess they did remove the fort. We're gonna go to small land then. And two years away we have to spend some Diplo points. So sure, we're doing the lowest. And we do an, an A split here. Have all of you go to Neva. And we might as well do a seed split here. And have you go... okay, you, you can go up there, okay. Might as well start that and might as well take that discipline, finish that, get the uh, recover morale as well. And do a seed split here as well. Just taking all the soldiers that caused manpower out. And put them down here. And we had war with Nuremberg all the way down here. So I sold one of his promises to Muscovy. That's interesting. Um, we might as well go and join that uh, that here navy that is protecting trade in. Baltic Sea. Just stay home right now. So what are we up against? Almost nothing. And they are all, all up there, so we can just go and crush this army. Sweet. Um, I think I take this um, and use them to block them.
Do do do. We take small land. I set you back to protecting trade on Baltic Sea. Go home at war. We get you to Skåne and go and kill them in Neuland. Well. And we took this to take this fortress. You go there and split. Stack wipe. Oh, how I love being amazing. Amazing. Prussia. And also means that you should move and probably go here and see if we can get his navy there. And then you go to Stockholm. And you go there. Kill that navy. I don't really care about galleys. You just get sunk. And killed one of his characters. Blockade Stockholm. You all go up there. Now this is a nice fast war, I think. So what do we want to go for? Kind of want to take this. It's going to be a mess though. What if we don't take Neuland? Then it's only people I don't care about. So this will be fine. Take some money, take some war reps. I think that is good. I think that is the piece we're going for. Also means we don't have to necessarily get to 100%. We can decrease. Still waiting for some claims, I think. Why is Gotland? Oh, because you're Swedish. Ah, oh, okay. I still can't get over that. Oh, you're not gonna stay for long. Um. It uh, seems I can all. Oh, I can. Can I vote for myself now? Why can I not roll for myself? That seems weird. Maybe it's because I'm at war or something? So if there's a religious piece, it should be able to vote for me. I'm still in the Emperor, right? I'm still an Elector. Why can't I vote for myself? I can vote for England. And England definitely isn't Catholic. Why can't I vote for myself? If anyone knows, please, please tell. Please do tell, either in, uh, in the chat here or, or in the comments later on on YouTube. I'd really like to know what that what's up with that. Um, we could change our Paris registers now. Uh, we'd go for the um, what would we what would we need? I guess we'll go for the idea cost, but we just got our last idea. We'd go for production efficiency. We well, might as well keep going for the manpower. Legitimacy is over once we get our next um, next king though. And we can make Jutland. Let's just do that. Call that. And that means we can 
We still can't decrease, obviously, because we are war. Okay. Like, I wonder, maybe, maybe this is also just because we are at war. We can't uh, currently breaking for vans. I don't get it. Why we can't choose ourselves? Am I just not seeing myself? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think it's because we weren't part of the religious war, but I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider the like button and subscribing. Hope to see you next time, and until then, have a good day.